So solarizing is a pretty involved process that can take some time and definitely needs some patience. Um, solarizing, the best way I can describe it is it kind of combines the qualities of a positive and negative together. So with these two pictures here, this is a picture of uh, snow or ice on a frozen kind of on a bush. And the picture here on the left is that same photo as it is solarized. Um, so you can see that it really kind of takes, especially the areas where there's a light area meeting a dark area, um, where it kind of gives this like almost like glowing edge to it. Uh, so it's really a cool effect. It can work really well, but you do need a photo that has really good contrast to start with. So a photo with, you know, some nice bright whites, some deep darks and where those two come together and that's real, where it's really going to happen. Um, here's a couple other examples as well. And again, you have that kind of glowing edge look. This is kind of, this is a test strip right here. So you can see some of the lines going across there. Um, so we'll go through how to make the test strip. Um, you might want to write some things down as I go through this. You will, uh, you know, be able to kind of follow along in the dark room with your phone as long as you have the brightness turned all the way down. Uh, but it may be a good idea to have some things jotted down as well. So let me move these aside here. When you're doing um, your solarizing, you're first going to start with a regular test strip. So I'm just going to kind of walk through the process. Uh, with some pictures, not actually doing them, but just kind of walking you through it so it'll go a little bit faster. So I have the, uh, the aperture down here on the lens. I don't know if you can see that. It's set to 5.6. Okay, have the little uh, dot there right above the 5.6. Um, I have my filter turned on. I have my uh, contrast. You can add contrast. Um, that would certainly help with the overall solarizing, um, but it does, it is a good idea to start with a photo that has good contrast to start with, okay? So I do have my filter turned on. You can see the lever flipped up there. So my timer is set to two seconds to do a regular test strip. So a regular test strip with the uh, aperture on 5.6 and two seconds each. So, you know, just going across with your cardboard, you can use a half sheet, you can use a full sheet of paper. Don't make it too small, but just doing that normal test strip with the aperture on 5.6. And then you'll take your photo paper and you'll go over to the sink and you will put it into the developer, okay? So I just have a, you know, practice piece of paper there. No chemicals in the, t in the trays there, but just for demonstration purposes. Two minutes in the uh, developer, okay? Normal time on that. And, but you're not gonna be putting it in the stop bath or fixer. You're gonna skip those for now. So just two minutes in the developer. And when it's all finished, you'll take it out with the tongs. I should use my tongs here. Take it out with the tongs and take it over to the paper towel. And I already have a photo out here as my practice photo. Um, you're going to put this on paper towel. Make sure it's separate from the other papers uh, where everybody else is squeegeeing for, you know, squeegeeing off water. Um, so that you don't, aren't, you know, putting it down and getting developer on the paper towel where everybody else is squeegeeing off water. You also want to make sure that you're using a separate squeegee. So this is specifically a developer squeegee for solarizing. Um, you can see it is shaped different. It is different colors than the regular squeegee. So you want to make sure that you look for this. There's only one of them. Uh, but it is usually on one of the shelves above the sinks, okay? So it's black, has a white blade to it. And you're going to squeegee off the developer. So just go over it a couple times, getting the developer off. And then you want to make sure that you're handling it by the edges. Um, it's still going to be wet. And if your hands are wet, or even if your hands aren't wet, the print is wet, if you get your fingers onto the print, those, are, those fingerprints are going to end up showing with the uh, solarizing effect. Okay, so we're going to bring it back over here. We're going to put the photo paper back in the easel. And close that down. And we're going to make some adjustments with the settings. First of all, we're going to set the aperture to 11. So if we look on the aperture dial, I'm at 5.6 right now. And if I turn it two clicks to the left, that should put me right on 11. So it goes from 
there we go, 5.6 to 8 to 11. The light will get a little bit dimmer. I'm also going to switch my filters off, and I'm going to take the negative out of the negative carrier. So I'm going to open that up and just slide my film out and close that back down. Okay, so there's no film in there. The filters are turned off. The aperture is on 11 and I'm gonna leave the timer on two seconds. So what I'm gonna do then is expose this for two seconds to just the light. So it's just this quick burst of light uh, and then we develop it again, okay? So two seconds to just the light, take that out, take it back to the developer, Okay, and it's going to be in there for the same time. So this second developing time, you're going through all three of them. Normal times, two minutes in the developer, 30 seconds, and two minutes in the fixer. Um, when you're developing it, because you're developing it twice, it is going to get dark. It is going to look quite dark. So just keep going with it. Again, this is just your test strip. So we'll figure out what your time should be and what we should uh, do with the overall exposure. But you'll do your normal times. And um, when you're all finished, we, you know, we'll figure out what your times are gonna be. We're gonna take a look over here at a test strip again. We'll take a look at your test strip, figure out what your time should be uh, with the negative and without. So again, this one is a test strip. Adjust my light here. This one is a test strip, so down here, this is two seconds, and then I have four seconds, if you can see those lines, and six, and eight, and 10, okay? So two, four, yeah, six, eight, 10. Um, so we'll take a look at that and figure out what your time should be. Now, it is important that you do solarize your test strip. If you know that you're gonna be doing solarizing, solarize the test strip. I know that's kind of a long process, um, but it will help in the long run with figuring out, okay, what time do we need to do with a film? And is two seconds working for the solarizing? In this case, it certainly is, but in some cases we have to increase the time to three seconds or four seconds for the actual solarizing effect, okay? So we'll take a look at it, figure out what your time should be with the negative, if two seconds is working with your um, solarizing or not, and if we need to raise that. So you'll come back in, you'll adjust your timer for whatever time we determine, and you'll go through that process again to create your solarized, hopefully your finished solarized photo. Um, again, be patient with it. Sometimes it is difficult to get a good solarizing on a photo, but again, it's gonna work best if you have a photo that has good contrast to start with. Um, now, real quick, when you're finished, when you're all finished, whether you, whether, you know, you only did a test strip for the day or if you did the whole thing, if it's time to go, one thing that you do need to do with um, cleanup a little bit different with um, solarizing is because you had your photo in here with developer on it, it's leaving a residue on the uh, metal, which can cause problems on, even on the inside of the frame here. So this can cause problems with uh, other people as they are working on this easel. Uh, it will leave a, you know, kind of a weird chemical reaction um, to the paper as people use this. So make sure you find some of the spray cleaner that is at both of the sinks uh, get some paper towels, spray and wipe out uh, the inside of the easel, spray this and wipe it off, and uh, also wipe off the inside of that frame edge as well. Um, also a good idea that when you're working with that squeegee, you can put the squeegee back where you found it up on the shelf so other people aren't using that by mistake on their photos, the developer squeegee. And also throwing away your paper towel um, at the end so that people aren't squeegeeing where you were squeegeeing the developer. So that's what solarizing looks like. Please do the cleanup process when you're all finished. And uh, let me know if you need help with getting this process to work.